Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. Come at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mark Watch for you guys today. And we got some interesting cards today to go over. Now, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my affiliate link down in the description below. It helps out the channel to know this will cost you. And consider being a YouTube channel member. Thank you to all my YouTube channel members. As well as let me know in the comment section below what I'm looking over in the next Mark Watch. Now, to begin... A lot of people have actually been asking me, hey, Thomas, are you going to get any Legendary Duelist uh, duels from the deep to open up on your shit? No, I'm really not. Uh, the set's garbage, and honestly, not only would the video do bad, but it wouldn't be fun to open, and it's definitely not worth the 50 bucks. I probably would spend no more than $25 for a box. Um, like, this is this is just terrible. Now, you do have the Ghost Rider Silent Honor arc, and these are already not even whole... Okay, we have Lightly Plates here because... I'm just going to take a wild guess, guys. Uh, it comes scratched right out of the pack. Woo! Shocking. You know, uh, because Konami just doesn't know how to handle Ghost or quality. I mean, near mints are $70. Who knows if any of these are near mint? Uh, maybe they all are. Maybe they all aren't. Anything in between. Uh, I just know that people who got them early, I don't know a single person who's gotten rid of one. Uh, I still like the card, and I still want it. I just know it's going to drop to something insane. Uh, you know, you got droplets here, which is really the only, they needed to put something in the set last minute to sell it. Because I think even Konami understood that this set's not going to sell. So they gave us a droplets reprint, which would be good, but we're getting one in three months. I guess this is to hold us over for three months, I guess. So, you know, and let's be honest, three months, you're going to pay something like this anyway. Uh, if anything, you pay this now, or if you, uh, were okay with waiting, there'll probably be less when the tins come out. Uh, forty dollars for your droplets. Uh, you got seventh ascension here. Uh, fourteens abyss shark at barely ten. You got fish sonar here. Uh, this card looks really bad and really good to me. Um, uh, but you got a little summer lore monster from your deck to your hand that matches Umi, or it's a water normal monster. So it's not a generic water search searcher. It's specifically for this deck. Um, the thing is though, is you're playing the Umi deck. It actually specials. Uh, and it's not special summon instead. Uh, it says, then if Umi is on the field, you special. So you get an, a search and a special. This card's really good, but they made sure not make it broken. Uh, meaning that it's not going to be played because no one's playing the Umi deck, let's be honest. You got Marinsa's Dive, 11 Triangle, $8. Oh, she looks cool. Um, You got, like, you know, the uh, Ocean Dragon Lord. Now, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, for s about seven bucks, I think it's just gonna go for it's gonna go further down though. But when these are really cheap, if you want to pick these up when they're like a dollar or two, I think that's actually pretty good. You got the Aqua Argument, man. This card, this you know the Marinsus cards always look sick. Uh, I don't think people are gonna play Marinsus to be honest with you here, but it's definitely a lot better of a deck. It's just they needed they need something broken. Um, is it gonna see meta play? I just don't think so. And even if it is, we have Splite. It, I think the Power of the Elements is our next core set. So we'll get ready for that Tier 0 format. And then everything else is like, you know, dollars basically. Uh, I told people that when Giant Hand goes to like a dollar, uh, you could pick it up. These are probably going to sink even lower to be honest with you here. But these, this might be a very good quarter investment. And that's really all I could say about this set. Uh, Levier the Sea Dragon here. Ultimate. Now, why this wasn't put in as a super... Uh, I have zero clue. I think that would have at least been cute to have. Uh, or even as like a rare or something. But if you guys know what this card does, not only does it look amazing as an ultimate rare, this is probably one of my top five favorite XYZ ultis in the game. Uh, you detach a material, and you target a banished level 4 lower monster. Special elements your side field. Any banished, by the way, that includes your opponent's banished, right? Uh, and it's generic. You have unlimited for 38 endless... I know a lot of people like their cards in your mid slash lightly played. I mean... You're paying about eight extra do dollars for your Nimitz, so you might as well get that. Nimitz for forty eight is are just aren't that bad. Uh, however, first and lightly plays hundred uh for your uh, LP basically. Nimitz are looks like one hundred six, one hundred seven here. Now I think you guys should get first eds, but honestly, unlimited is not bad either. If you could, especially if you get any sort of deal on unlimited, I would definitely go grab it. I was actually able to grab a first edition. Near mint for about 70 bucks um in the last three weeks. Uh again, now I already have my two copies 
Uh, but I do remember having my place and selling one when they were like a hundred something. They spiked to the moon. Uh, glad to have the third one back. Never thought I would. I'm, I'm happy with two. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, good to have a third. Uh, ultra rares from Generation Force. Even these are money at eleven bucks here. Uh, first editions at around fifteen bucks. Uh, that's actually quite a lot. Seeing how this card used to be like four or five bucks, like max, and that's because it's one of the better ultras and it was quite old at the time. Um, I know this. I think has a dual saga ultra. Does it? Uh, no. It just has the super and the uh the common at a dollar. Super is like three bucks. I bet. Yeah, like three dollars here. Personally, if you could just try to get the ulti, if anything. Uh, Neko Mana King from Magician's Force. Now, this is seeing play in Tier Elements. And I know there's something else that plays it as well. But what this card does is uh, during your opponent's turn, I think it might be the new Dark World stuff. Uh, the card sets to grade by the effect of your opponent's anything. Uh, your opponent's turn just straight up ends, right? Uh, you got, let's see here. Let's see, Lightly Plays. Uh, seven bucks near mints are, yeah, seven bucks here. First, said lightly plates are well, that's not verified. 15 bucks, oh, that's disgusting. You got the legendary collection fours at 12s, and then you have the DRV is somewhere. Now, if you have this in your bulk, which honestly, you probably do, what's really funny is I actually didn't notice this, but on the last live stream, which by the way, that was awesome. You're gonna want to go check that. We go over a bunch of cool cards, and that's where I learned about this buyout. Uh, someone actually donated enough for me to open up the Magician's Force. Uh, and that was chosen by Die Roll. And I didn't know this card came in. We actually had a chance to get one of these. Uh, sad to say we didn't. We didn't even get a hollow. Uh, Alpha, the Master of Beasts. So, when someone asked me, hey, uh, Saki, do you think this is a good card to grab? I'll be honest with you here. It's not bad, but it's not that great either. Uh, it, any, t uh, what's called, um... Uh, what's called deck that plays a beast beast warrior winged beast monster uh deck could is could play this um because it could be it has to just be it can be special pretty easily right at first right it bounces a bunch of cards and it can special summon twice right uh which is really really cool uh good at least to me six bucks here for seek earn your mints You know, it's it's not bad, but I just remember this card. Everyone honestly thought this was a powerhouse of a card. And I really thought I was going to change the game when Phantom Rage came out. Um, You know, I was going to see some play, but it never really did. never really popped off. Uh, Master of Oz Ultimate Rare. I always liked this guy. He's just a, you know, felony kangaroo that's doing some part-time boxing. Uh, ultis are quite a bit of money. I mean, Lightly Play Unlimited are 25 your mints are about 45. First eds are 84 bucks. Your mints are 150. Now, why this is worth so much, I have zero clue because this isn't even out of a hobby box. This this is not like what? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Uh Hida. Now I told people to get this so many times. Around 170 to 230, 220 bucks. Well, now. 400 for this one last copy. So if you want it, you know, use my affiliate, hopefully, and it's yours. Then it's $500. Uh, it's a charmer and it's fire, right? You can always make this if you're playing anything, especially something like salad, and just grab back etch. Man. This card, just really, really good. Also, the Earth Charmer Immovable. Starlight Rare is about... Two, let's call it 220 from Verified here. Now, I told people to grab this at 140. And if you did, well, you already saw a 50% increase in its value. However, I really think this will hit about closer to 400 too. I mean, there's not that many left here. There's no wall. There's, uh, you know, this guy has three. This guy has three. Uh, well, yeah. These guys might have three, but that's it. Like, we only have like a small handful uh, right now on the market. Now, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion start. Or someone asked me what my thoughts are on this. Uh, 305, we got one there from Verified. Been going up to 350, so that's not too bad. It's not like these were bad at 300. It's just, I'm not in a rush. You don't have to be in a rush to get this card. Because, number one, uh, its core set came out like two weeks ago, meaning that people are still opening these up, number one. Number two, we have error cases, right? So, someone's hoarding these in masses, right? Many people, right? We'll have like 10, 15, 20, right? So there's a lot more on the market already than what's on TCG Player and what's just posted online or people's trade binders. 
So if you really want this card, it's not bad to have, but you're going to be holding on to it for a long time. And I'd rather just be straight up honest with people. Of course, it's going to go because it's a Starlet Rare, but you don't have to prioritize this right now. You can prioritize, like, look back two core sets. What did you want then that you don't have? Maybe grab that. Uh, Secret Rares, which I, I still really like these. Uh, First editions are 64. Not bad. I actually think that people should get first set secrets. Uh, Ultras are still... Uh, let's see here. From near mint, first sets are about seven seventy five. Call it eight bucks here for ultras. Code would, is definitely good for another reprint. You know, it might not fit into the set, but I feel like if they put this and actually gave some, a few, a little more atta obtainable and like nice cards in their legendary duels, this uh, you know, that set would have been done a lot well because if Secret Storm is like forty two and it has Baron still and at least had meta cards, at least temporarily, then you know. This set, uh, this set right over here, Legendary Duelist, can easily go to, uh, you know, 30 bucks for a box. 35. You know, they could have, they should have put this in or something. I don't care if it fits with the theme. If the set's garbage, maybe you should break the theme or do something different. Like, I don't know. I can't get over how bad this set is. Like, I'm bringing it up when I'm going over other cards. Uh, Small World from Bursa Destiny. So, I want me to go over this, and I will say this. This card is more, is too complicated for Yu-Gi-Oh card players to play. Like, people will activate and think they're choosing a, a good tar uh what's called um an eligible target and they're really not now right now these are 24 it's still a good card people are liking their secret rares but this is going to drop heavily when we get ultra rares uh pro from the tins you know if this dodges the tins oh that's going to be really good then but i don't think it's going to now dino morphia has been going very up and very down lately uh, and a lot of people are asking me, hey, should I go into it? Should I still invest into it and all that? And before I answer those questions, I just want to say I have a new intro that I actually got in the nick of time for this uh, market watch. To be honest, I got like a day or two ago. But uh, I forgot to mention it. So let me know what you guys think of the new intro as well as the new channel banner. I know if you're a regular here, you already know about the channel ban uh, banner. Don't worry. You don't have to say it to me again. But I know a lot of people might not notice that. So... Go check out. Let me know what you think. Now, Starlight Rares have crashed back down. Uh, they were always around 90 to 100, 105. Well, we got one here for 116, 119, and then they're basically like 125. So, you know, they still have a little bit. Oh, hiccups. They still have a little bit of value here uh, for them. But this deck just didn't do anything. So, all the hype crashed down. If you still want these, they're, it's not that they're bad. I would just rather get other, other cards. Now, Dinomorphia Frenzy here, uh, these are like four to five bucks here uh, for your Ultras. These aren't too bad, actually. It's just, again, the card's just not doing anything. Uh, that's the issue. And with how it's going, it's just probably going to continue going down. Uh, it could be a $3 Ultra. But, uh, these Secrets are always holding about 6 to $7, a solid 6 7 uh, which is really funny because I know more Optima builds sometimes don't even choose to play this card. Maybe they'll play like one copy. Uh, and then OG secrets are about 14. These were like anywhere from 10 to 12 originally. So, you know, basically these went back down to what they were. Again, if people people will hype up the deck and cards, but if it doesn't say any player doesn't do anything, don't expect these cards not to return to their original prices or something close to it. You know, that's all I got to really say. Uh, Baron de Fleur, Legend Duel Secret Storm here. We're just talking about this, comparing it to our awful current Legendary Duelist. Uh, here, uh, these are about 125, 1, 130, uh, for Baron. Now, Baron is a card a lot of people have been asking me, hey, do you think it's going to get a reprint? Now, mo almost every Legendary Duels card will get reprinted in a Legendary Duels season, right? Meaning that if this sees a reprint, it's going to be next year, right? When we get Legendary Duels season four. Uh, I highly doubt it's going to come at any other time before then. Now, this isn't a rule set in stone with Konami. However, that is what uh, happens 95 like 6 97 percent of the time maybe even more uh for these legendary duels cards uh that are at least relevant right now if you want this card and you think it's going to go down because of a reprint i'm sorry to tell you buddy it's it's really not this is what you're paying i said i honestly i see the lowest of dropping at 80 and i think it hit, didn't hit 80, i think it hit like 83 84 and i said hey, this is good enough probably uh, and then went up to 90, and then you guys know what happened after this. Now, the box is here. About 42 here, 43. 
you know, I still feel like for fun, these aren't bad because you don't, I think you pull like two to three barons, sometimes four out of a case. Um, and then you get the ghost rare randomly that kind of makes back, did make back your money. Um, you know, I made back my money, but then these went to $30, which is uh, quite shocking here. I assume Silent on Oracle probably hit around 40 because uh, at least that card has history to it, 45 For Ghost Rares, maybe more. Maybe a little bit less. Probably less, or what I'm saying. Now, so want me to go over Champion Packs here. And I want to go over probably my, one of my favorite Continuous Traps in the game, which is Ultimate Offering. If you guys don't know, this card was awesome because it like gadgets go crazy because you would normal summon search, normal summon search, normal summon search. You'd be able to flood the whole uh, board with gadgets. Uh, the oh, But this card got banned uh, after Madolce's debuted. And it wasn't because of Madolce's, but Madolce's was actually playing this card as well. And I the very early builds. And uh, I had comments, and I love this card. I love the artwork. It looks so gruesome. So, you pay five your life points, you get to normal summon or set one extra monster, and you can only activate this effect during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. And I think the Erratus maybe changed that, but yeah, Champion Pack Supers, 110. Be honest with you guys here, I'm, I'm probably going to pick this up eventually for my collection. Uh, you know, I just, I really love this card. Uh, it's the only hollow print besides the DT, which is six bucks, and this is played older format. So, if you guys actually want a good investment here, I think DT Ultimate Offerings, probably the way to go. Uh, Lumina, Light Swarm sort, uh, Summoner. Now, I need some bank off this because I ended up selling mine for, I think, two, yeah, two, two for 275 each. And I think I got both for like 200 without tax. Well, they're still about three, about a little higher than what I sold for 310, 318. And then you got like, that's really it. You have a heavy played one here, but, uh, Mm. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even see when this got bought out, to be honest with you. Five listings. Trap does shoot. Now, this card is $400, but it was 200 bucks, And I was actually telling people to get the DT because this is the only hollow version of the card. Uh, with commons being two, three bucks as well. Now, I told people to get their trap does shoots around eight bucks, six to eight bucks. Some subs say it was six. I'm positive it was eight. I'm pretty positive, but hey, if it was lower, whatever, right? Uh, nineteen dollars twenty-one here. Now I still think this is a good uh version to grab, uh, and a good copy to grab for older format. But yeah, three sixty for light plays near mints are four fifty-one. Uh, no PSAs unfortunately, but there were PSA of these. Uh, Alley of Juster Catastrophe. I want to go back to this check it out. Uh, 134, 133, yeah, this card can't really be replaced. I guess it's too old at this point. Uh, you know, these don't look too bad at 50 cents either. Here, I actually want to look at, uh, Black Rose a little bit. Uh, man, I remember when I told people to get this up, five cards on your trade better, which another one should be coming up this week, hopefully. You know, I am very busy, though. Now, you have lightly plates for about 10. Let's call a spade a spade here. And then near mint verifieds are 18. Uh, that's not too bad here. Honestly, I would grab the lightly played toy. I still think this is a great uh, version to buy. And there's not that many ver uh, copies left overall for a 2008 collector tin uh, card. Uh, you have the DT uh, previews here. Uh, you know, mod play, only $1,500. Uh, very affordable. Um, you know, there's cars that are worth less. But why get that when you could get a not even lightly played? Five thousand dollar card, with near mints being fifteen hundred. You know, suck my cock. Uh, triple tactical talents from Rise of the Duels here. Uh, these are about fifty bucks here for secrets, and it's so funny because they go up to sixty right here, and then on the next page they go up to literally eighty. Right, so this card's not that stable, but people kept trying to I don't know undercut each other, all that. This card's just not selling fast enough, perhaps. But I still believe that this card is really good. I mean, we're seeing players play it. Still, we're seeing people... I always get asked for ultras of this card. Always, right? I can always sell ultras in person like that. Uh, and the secrets can't even touch 60. Uh, 70. I think this card should be a lot higher. If you're looking to invest into an old secret, this is definitely it. Because not only is it a meta-relevant card, and it's in demand, but it's from Rise of the Duels. A set that's basically extinct. In fact, I want to look how much 
box art. I think they were like 240. 250. Honestly, it kind of sucks that they're this much. I would love if I saw a box of this, I would honestly just offer like 150. Probably. I mean, I know it has uh the Ecclesia Starlight Rare, but they're realistic and the uh, talents, but you're realistically not gonna pull Starlight Rare. Uh although the Starlight Rares are pretty good. Uh huh. These were around always 125. They got bought to insane amounts. And I said at 110, 120, it's not bad. I mean, even if you didn't sell it during hype, I remember someone actually asked me um, if they should still get this at 300. I said, no, it's going to 350. I said, no, it's going to crash. 170, it's not good, but it's not bad. Uh, oh, and Ultra Triple Tactical Talents. I actually did bring it up here. $24 here. Uh, these were about 18 to 20, so now they're kind of going up. Even though the graph kind of says they went down. Oh, yeah, that's because through May they went up. But, yeah, uh, this card, you know, pretty good overall. I still think this is a card that people need to experiment with a lot more. It just it takes a little bit more effort to play, I guess I should say. Well, with that being said, guys, uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. If you're buying any cards off the ACG player, please use my link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to know there's costs too. Let me know what I'm looking at in the next Mark Watch in the comment section below. And uh, hopefully you guys like the new channel banner and uh, what's it called? Uh, intro, ch new channel icon. Hopefully coming soon. Ran into some uh, complications with that. Uh, I may live stream this week again. I'm not too sure. Uh, it just depends on how I feel. Maybe I'll do like a middle of the day live stream uh, on Saturday. I might like actually want to try that out uh, because I wouldn't do that on a Saturday night. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And sorry for the shorter market watch. Uh, I just have to juggle a lot of things today. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.